Hello guys and welcome back. This is Volkov V2 and at the moment I'm playing House Flip. Now this game is literally like an interior game designed for those that just want a chill game and not have to stress over games aka Siege or CSGO. And all you have to do in this game it's literally like interior decorating. Go on your computer, pick a thing, let's go with student house cleanup let's pick something so literally they will give you some message around thing and you have to either go clean out their entire house and make it look presentable again now the one thing I would say that this game is good compared to other games is how fast you clean so when your parents are constantly asking you to clean your room and stuff like that and you say you don't have to or you don't want to that's because if we had this ability, life would be so much easier. For example, well, granted, we'll pick up a chair faster. But look at this! Look, this broom is just insane. Like, if anyone can find a broom like this, please give me a shout because this thing can clean pretty much everything. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why the hell, if I don't want to clean out my room, why the hell should I play a game that involves cleaning? But, because I have no idea. But in all honesty, this game can actually, it does have some good certain aspects to it. For example, shows you how to clean windows. My job would be very pleased about this. How to clean the ceiling. Mount a device. Where's the device we need? A radiator. Alright, well, first things first. And secondly, you don't have to buy anything. But, at the same time, they may skip a load of parts, but it's actually teaching you how to do stuff. I mean, boom! Look at that. I am a pro. And I really don't even want to know what kind of stuff is on that bed at the moment. All I can say is whoever's house this is... Jesus, they have an alcohol problem. Look at this broom! It gets rid of graffiti! I mean, oh god, so much everywhere. And... All I can say is... My god, my work would be pleased if they saw me there. See? This is pro skillage right there, how to clean windows. If only life was this easy. What is this thing? Mount another radiator. Boom. Now, are you thinking this game actually looks extremely terrible? white. Nope, that's just design of those lights. Okay. <laughs> uh, fine, let's do this. Let's paint the walls white. 
Okay, let's pretend that is not a complete answer. Joke. Oh god. See, this is what I don't understand, is so many colours yet. If you just want white, it doesn't give you just white. Yeah, at least it gives you a plastic bucket. Ah, there you go. It does give you white. Morning yellow, sunny orange, mandarin orange, laughing strawberry. You can tell women have designed these colours because a guy just sees orange, orange, yellow, brown. I mean, how is that a vanilla? That is brown. Would you not agree with me? That is not va that is not yet a light vanilla. That is definitely brown. Red, fiery orange. Pastel pink, sweet almond, alluring lavender. Ooh, ooh, up. Uh, I'll stick with my amazing white. But what I can also say is, people, I hate painting, but I wish painting was like this. Just stick in, let it get absorbed. I mean, legit. Now, you see, with painting, there'll be so much more to do. For example, you'd have to take out the radiator. There'd be so many splooge marks on the f all over the floor and shirts. It's such a messy job. I don't know why I would want to do this. But in this game, you skip all this. Because why? Because it's a video game. And the best thing about this is because only gamers would know this, but you always wonder, isn't it? If you like this game so much, why not do it in real life? Simple, because this is a game. I am currently interior decorating an entire house in the comfort of my chair. But oh my god, even painting in this game's boring. How do you people do this? You paint, paint, people that actually paint for a job, you guys are heroes. How do you legit do this 24 7? I mean, look. You would have had to move the cupboards, done it all perfectly. Paint the edges first. And there we go. Boom. Ha ha. This person fear of cockroaches. You can change cockroaches into a piece of glass. If you're a person with catsridophobia, fear of cockroaches, you can turn the cockroaches into... Ah, look at him! Look at him go! I love that. It actually says if you have a fear of cockroaches. I mean, seriously, I mean, okay, I know this is a student house, but... Damn. <laughs> Ooh, could you imagine that? Unfortunately, I'm a insect lover, so this is more blasphemous for me, if anything. Poor cockroaches.
so many times. I'm making this a cockro uh, cockroach side? Insecticide. The death of so many cockroaches. Actually, let me just have a look at something. Is there a way to bump up the graphics? Let's see. In fact, there is. Why am I playing on such terrible graphics? I apologize, people. I do not know what's come over me. I swear we can get the graphics even better than that. You can definitely tell this is a student house. Oh, God. Who takes a radiator? Oh my god, seriously, people. You have a drinking problem. My god, this from you know, balls here reminds me of a few people I know. So many alcohol bottles. I love how I'm legit doing a tutorial of how to clean a blinking house. It's not like we can all or you know do this. Oh god. But in all honesty, for a game like this, it's in fact, this game's actually decent. I will give it some marks for the fact that, for credibility in a way of... It's actually good for designing specific games. For example, those that actually like, um... Creating houses. And at the same time, you could create, you could even, in a way, use this house as, I just don't understand the paintings on the wall, like Jesus, who the hell paints like a few strips red. Start from the top and work left to right. Now, I probably won't be doing too many tutorials of this game because clearly this game is not a game that you could probably play every single day. But granted, if you could, like if you like designing houses and stuff, then yes, this is the game for you. If you like mowing the lawn and your mum tells you to mow the lawn, then clearly you abuse the system and you start playing the game. If your mother continues to shout at you, you say, well, you told me to mow the lawn. You never specified whether you wanted me to do this virtually or realistically. So therefore, mother, I am not arguing with you. I have cleaned the house. I have cleaned my room. Well, I have cleaned a room. May not be my room, but I've cleaned someone's room. And they've currently paid me. 
A lot of money. Virtual money, that is. And I've even got a skill point. If only in life you get skill points. The Ultra Hip Hop Mob for 2018. Ah! <gasps> no, I'd rather much see on the map where more splooge marks are. I mean, I'm just still more fascinated about this mob. Hey, look, you don't have to. This mob can just get rid of everything. Okay, seriously, this house is definitely starting to remind me of someone's. The amount of alcohol bottles. <laughs> nah, they know who they are. God, I'm good. Oh, also, I've got to say, this game is also good for another thing. If you have major OCD, oh, this game is for you. But I'd highly not recommend playing it because you'll spend absolute hours on this game. Why? Because, for example, I can be the biggest person ever and just leave that there and leave that there and walk away oh I wonder how many people with OCD are now just gonna go mad like no you cannot leave that how dare you leave that sofa and that coffee table like that it must be straight yeah, well, I didn't play the game by the rules. You told me to clean the house, not organize their furniture. And that is what I'm doing. I wonder how many people's eyes are twitching right now. Yeah, but you can tell this is a student's room. No, I don't know what you're looking at. I'm still not doing it. You can all suffer. But yeah, you learn a lot from this game. What else can you do? Granted, do not take this game 100% seriously. For example, do not immediately go outside and if <laughs> if you're doing a job interview and you are trying to apply for a job somewhere that involves cleaning, and they say to you, what experience do you have? Well, <laughs> I've played over 200 hours on house flip. I mean, that's got to be some qualification. If I ever do make more videos of this game, I assure you, it will not be of playing this game. I'll probably do, if I ever, ever do, ever, ever do? 
If I ever make any more videos of House Flip, it will mainly be if I've continued to play this game and have built myself a humongous mansion. Seriously, how many windows is in this place? The only thing I would say in this is... How certain marks it says like on the wall. 94% cleaned. Well, I mean, it's a great design to have a look at how you can actually mount it. I mean, you could literally impress your dad if he ever asks you to, you know, can you mount him a tower radiator? You know how to. And boom! That's how you do it in less than 30 seconds. If only life was that simple. As well as the piping. Get a basic sink. Mount it in. And unfortunately, it would not be the sink. Boom! We fit in our own sink. <laughs> That's right, people. We are that good. Now, where's the rest of these bleach marks? There we go. Oh, where am I looking? There we are. Oh yeah, would help if I actually put a radiator in this one. Oh, if only life was this easy. Happy <laughs> to
Why was it 80%? Oh, there it is. How is this room 80% clean? Frick oh, oh, God. It's <sighs> a blood. Eesh. Oh, someone's chundered on all over the place. Tell they had pre drinks here before going out. Yeah, didn't quite make it to the toilet. So many stains. I have to buy for this place. I might as well just live here myself. Buy a washer and mount it. saw that. <laughs> I totally know what I'm doing. idea what to do after this. Oh. See? I'm learning, people! Tighten that up. Grab this tube, put it, and push against the wall. <laughs> I'm a genius! <laughs> I swear to God, these marks are starting to really annoy the hell out of me. Ha ha ha! Found ya, you little. Don't for crying out loud. Eighty percent clean. Are you kidding me right now? CD people. 
because I legit probably have it as well. Everything's done in this room, everything's done in this room, it's literally... Sweet. <laughs> Where's the mark? At this point, I might just call it. Pats is it? Oh my god. <sighs> I am literally poking a broom. I am literally just jamming a broom now and everywhere. Hoping. Oh, it's done! Ah! I'm out of here! I completed 99%. Out of it. Uh, that is legit the game. Now, I'll probably do a, another quick upload of this game, probably later on in the future, probably, you know, when this terrible shack of a house becomes a mansion. But apart from that, this is probably just a tutorial for this game. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this terrible and excruciatingly boring game, but, yeah, gotta give it some reviews. I mean, in all honesty, you could have fun this. Alright, peace out.